Preservation Train Trestle. I did my daring or dumb trestle walk. You be the judge. Little walk there on the edge. And now a one way trip to nowhere. Splat. Getting up ever so carefully. Whoops, greasy spot. No real problem though. If I'd have slipped there, I could have just hopped on that horse right there and rode off into the sunset. Oops, speaking of slipping. Look, Ma, one hand. Now for some sit-ups. Supported by one old, rotten, wooden board. Had the board broke, it would have been a 300 foot backflip to the ground. Now for my next stunt. Made it. You think that was hard, watch this. Of course that's a 20 foot drop, meaning if I'd miss it'd only be 280 feet to the ground. Uh, climbing up some metal beams. Notice my feet slipping from the morning dew. Oh, some swinging in the wind. And now, ever so carefully, climbing back up top. Ah, uh, yes, and some of my fans risked death just to get a closer look. So I had to do something for them. One more stunt. Notice the courage of the kid in the blue. And now, to erase the label of a cowardly chicken given to me by my co-workers, I take my first roller coaster ride. Hi, everybody. Oh, this is going to be fun. Mmm, goody, goody, goody. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Hey, cut that out. First, a little warm-up ride on the choo-choo train. Oh, doody, doody, doody. This is so much fun, ain't it? Oh, wow. Hi, everybody. Hey, look at me. And next, the dreaded roller coaster. I courageously bored. Hey, wait a minute, guys. Let's talk this over. Hey, how about another warm-up ride? Maybe on the, the merry-go-round or something? You sure? Come on. Whoop. Away I go. Hey, get me off this thing. Now, 
now for my victory strut as I conquered the dreaded roller coaster. Next, some scenes from OBT office parties. Here we're laying in wait to ambush Ronald C. Cunningham III Esquire for his surprise wedding shower. And there's the victim. Look at him. Just coming apart at the scenes with any emotion. Can hardly contain himself from the shock and surprise of this. And now to the first floor where we had the party table set up. Give him another surprise. I only hope his heart can stand it. And the bride, Barb. Come on, hurry up and open those gifts. We want to eat. Hey. Ah, that's better. Next, a 10-year service anniversary for Lois. Another surprise. Oh, no. My, my. And more eaten. Here we have manager, district manager, supervisor presenting her with what's supposed to be some type of an award. But little did she know, it's an enlargement of a picture I took of her at another party. Surprise. Oh, no. Where is he? I'll kill him. There you are. Oh. Coming up here will be a close-up of the enlargement. Does she regret sticking her tongue out at me at that other party? Bye-bye. Now, surprise baby shower for Lois again. Having already given her a surprise party at a restaurant, she th never expected this, as you will see. Boing! Not again, Harold, you think? You were that camera. Shock brought on an early birth. Only moments later, yawn. Coochie coochie coo. Ah, quiet and give me a beer. Ah, that's much better. Glug, 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 glug. You and that dumb camera. Burp. And Uncle Nelson. Hi there. Hey, get this guy out of my picture. Hamming up all my limelight. Say bye-bye. My next challenge, the mighty ocean, where previously I'd only been ankle deep, but this year I plan to go knee deep. There I am, scanning the waves, see how they break. All important preparation for this daring feat. Da -da -da, yes, I will go knee deep. Nothing can stop me, but first, some other preparations. Scuba mask. The all-important flippers. All vital equipment. 
And yes, my trusty sword. One never knows when you'll run into a shark. And last but not least, the all-important inflatable rubber ducky. I'm ready. Bump, ba da da dum bump, 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 bump. Yes, knee deep. Knee deep is my destiny. I'm ready for the fight. Knee deep. Charge. Dun, 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 dun. Ready for anything. Onward. Charge. I did it. Knee deep. Knee deep. Now on to a new record. Waist deep. Hey, wait a minute. What, what's that by my feet? Hey, whoa. Whoa. Shark. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, oh there. Whoa, wait a minute. I better rethink my strategy here. No, I'll not be denied. On to waist deep. This is it. A new record. Here I am on my first and last flying lesson. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, if I don't stop this thing, I'll be into orbit. Whoa. Oh, man. I gotta get out of here. Banzai! Ah! Splat. Okay. Life in the computer room. Hard-working, dedicated employees here. The famous Big Dan. He doesn't know it, but I had the deck of cards uh, stacked. I had a straight royal flush. I think it's four aces or something. Some more hard workers. Never a time to stand around in the computer room. You really hustle. Mounting tapes. <coughs> typing in on the console. Here we have Linda opening up a gift. Knowing her, it's probably a bomb or maybe a pair of boxing gloves. I don't know what we have here. A little dispute as to who's going to run the computer that day. Or some strange dance step. Dan still working. Oh, some more, some more dedicated hard work. Ah, here we have the engineers working on the computer. No, discussing their golf game. Still at it. Show some real respect for our manager there, Dennis McConville. Look, look at the respect we give him. <laughs> for a little mid-morning uh, picker-upper. Rebel Yell Bourbon. <laughs> Nothing like it. Lockers come in handy. Back to the teletype room. And the infamous Lorraine. Hello, sugar. Okay, next is going to be the infamous Sunday beer party, which was everybody in the computer room but the supervisor was aware of the fact that we had beer cans emptied from the bottom, the tab still in the can. One of the programmers goes and tells the supervisor that we're back at the computer, back by the computer drinking beer. Now, she's loosened up on the rules earlier that day and let us have coffee and donuts at the... Uh, at the console, which is usually against during regular hour uh, rules. So we just kept bringing up how we should be allowed to have beer in there. Just kept setting her up for it. And finally, when the programmer tells her, she, well, enters the situ enters the Now, go. You're rolling. Roll. Okay. Here we are spreading out the cans, setting up the lighting, checking with the engineer. Now, the only problem is the engineer, when she come around that corner, did not start filming because she come around so loud and forceful, but he later picked up the action and you're going to see the corridor that, that she came down and I really regret that she, he didn't capture the film, but the next scene she will have already turned the corner. Look at that. Arm on hip, 
explaining the rules that we shouldn't have beer there, and we're saying, oh, come on, loosen up. Enter another person, grabs a beer, and says, great idea, beer on Sunday. Now, she's doing everything she can to hold her cool and uh, give us a chance to get the beer out of here. Here's a programmer, management level. He enters the scene, grabs a beer. There's a, another programmer, and finally she catches on. Still, doesn't see the camera, walks right towards it. And there, it's all over. She was had, and she knew it. Okay, we turn her around one more time into the camera to remind her that we really nailed her right there. And okay, okay. Since it was her beer party, we thought that she should be the one to uh, take the beer cans home with her, and we uh, promptly decorated her car before we left that day. She took flack on this for the rest of the week. First thing Monday morning, people were, needless to say, bringing it up, and uh, it spread through the building uh, like wildfire. Uh, I helped it along a little, of course. The wind uh, wasn't cooperating there, but uh, we managed to get all the cans on her car. Come on, stay up there. We. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. We wrote on the bag, please do not litter. Okay, here we're off to a, another high-level executive meeting. Or is it a farewell party? We're not having a rough beer party. We're uh, having a farewell party. A surprise victim of this party. Oh, oh my. I'm so surprised. Okay, normally we start at a quarter to eight. Now let's see who's coming in late today. Well, 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 look at this, 15 minutes late. I can understand, though, at a beer party on Sunday, and this being Monday morning, you know, you're not full tilt. Well, here goes Big Dan and his action again. What a legend. Pained later even than the boss. Let's see, what else we got coming up here? Nobody working there. Ah, here, here we'll find somebody working special services. And here we, oops, oops, hey, you, wake up, get to work. Come on, somebody in this building's got to work. I got stock in this company, clunk. Hitting the head with a piece of paper. Now she reacts to getting the head in a piece of paper. Hmm. Nobody's too thrilled about that, so it's a good thing you can't read her lips. See, another victim of my uh, paper throwing. Why am I a lousy target? Boom. <laughs> Missed again. Catch it quick. Good shot. District manager. No one is spared of Ann Cundiff, chowing away. Now, there's one, one thing about this, though. No drinking or eating in this room. Shame, 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 Ann. For shame. Oh, here's some hardworking programmers. Uh, I think this is the fourth floor. I'm going to walk by here real carefully here. I don't want to wake anybody up. Oh, yeah, even, even, okay, here we go. Now, there, there's a job the supervisor can handle, but where, where'd she get the strength to be supervisor? Uh, Beer party coordinator and uh, floor mopper all at the same time. What What is her source of strength? Let's, uh, let's check out her desk here. Maybe we can find it out. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, I thought so. I thought so. There, here we go. Lorraine in the dark. The blizzard power outage. I don't even remember what year. 77, 78, somewhere around there. We wander around in the cave. There's a view out the cafeteria window. You barely see the uh, trees on the porch. Yes. View out the fourth floor window. And there is no more 21. Only hours away from when Rhodes closes up the state. <clears throat> anyway, back to the uh, cave and the lights out. Uh, here we go. There we go. Dedicated crew that made it in through the blizzard. Of course, when nobody was looking, we'd slip back to our locker for a little refreshment now and then. Should 
be like this more often. A little log cabin fever coming up here, I think. Look at the excitement on these people's faces. Hey, Big Dan, wake up. Oh, Big Dan and Lorraine. <laughs> the Bucket Brigade. kind of uh, drinking something out of the bucket. Getting ready for another earthquake, maybe. Mmm. Rubbing alcohol and there's nothing else to drink. More snow scenes. Them giant snowflakes falling. I'm back to the card game, I think, here. Oh. Tiptoe through the tulips. Ah, the old legendary Maverick. Drive home in the snow with my carpool lady screaming for me to put my hands on the wheel and not, uh, on the camera. Route 21. Now this is Rockside and Turney Road. The last turn before home. Let out my uh, carpool passenger. Okay, here we go. This is a rarity. We have somebody working. Vacuuming the printer and one of the co-workers. This is really rare. Okay, here we have Dennis McConville's desk. My, my, my. Some kids never grow up. And now for a final farewell to the Brexville Data Center. And I do mean final farewell. watches, scan the area, and boom, goodbye data center. Bedford Reservation Train Trestle, fall of 1969, where I do some daring or dumb stunts. You be the judge. A little warm up, walk on the edge. And now I'll walk off a one-way pier. <whistles> Splat, 300 feet below. Now carefully get back up. Notice a little greasy spot on there to add some sport. No real problem though, should I have slipped here I could have just hopped on that horse there and rode off into the sunset. But oh, if I would have missed. Speaking of slipping, look Ma, one hand. Now some sit-ups off the edge braced by an old semi-rotten board. Where had the board given away, I would have done a nifty 300 foot backflip to the ground. Now another stunt. Boom, made it. Maybe you think that was hard. Try to do it backwards. 
thing I had going for me here was that if I missed, the platform was only 280 feet from the ground. Tried to wave in every scene.